In this video, we will start working with the do while loop. As we have already discussed for and while, do while will work somewhat different. Here, whenever I talk about this do while, it is the one which will execute at least once even if the condition is false. How? Because in do while loop, the, method, the loop body will execute first and then after at the bottom the condition will be checked. So before the condition is being checked, the loop is already executed once. Question arises like in which situations we will have to go for this do while. So probably you can choose the do while loop whenever you want to take a user input. As you have to take user input at least once, if you want to take it another time, it depends on the first input of a user. For example, if I'm entering an ATM to withdraw some cash and I'm swiping my card, I'm entering the PIN number. At least once I will have to enter my PIN in my debit card. But if I will enter the wrong, it will ask me again. All right. So then it is this loop will come into the picture. So similarly, here you can see even in the flowchart, there is a do which is containing the loop body and then after there is a while. This while condition must be terminated by a semicolon. And here you see first of all this code block is executed and then this condition is checked. When a condition is returning true, we will re-execute this code block and if it is not, we will terminate this. Means after the first iteration, it will behave like a normal loop but before in the first execution, it will execute it before the condition. Let's see it practically. So in this example, we'll see how this do while will work. In this example, what we are doing is we are putting an actual pin. Like whenever you go to an ATM, you have to enter a pin number. Here, I'm considering the actual pin is 4321. And we will give three attempts to the user. If in those three attempts, he entered the correct pin number, we will give a message welcome user. If in the three attempts, he doesn't enter the correct pin, we will say account logged. But we will not give more than three attempts and at least one attempt must be there. So as I said, do while will be used when at least one time the loop must execute. So here you can see whenever there is a user input we will have to use this do while loop here inside this do i am taking the user input inside this pin variable and we are incrementing the count in the while condition you can see if this pin is not equal to actual pin and count is less than three it is an and operator that means if any of the condition is false this loop will be terminated and then we will come outside this loop. If by the time we are outside of this loop, pin is equal to actual pin, we will print this message or account logged message. So let's execute this program. First of all, let's enter all the incorrect attempts. Okay, account logged. Let's re-execute this and now at last I'll enter the correct pin. So welcome user. If you will enter this correct pin in the very first execution, welcome user and it will not ask again. So in this situation, whenever you want to plan a loop as per the user input, you should use the do while loop.